Hello, and welcome to the Chronicles of Yarnia. Hi. I'm Kathleen. Haley. Amanda. And we're here with episode 37, and Jen will be joining us virtually. Yep. Still splicing. <laughs> uh, remember to like and subscribe and click the little alarm bell down there to get notifications of when we do our next podcasts. Um, I'm Jen. Coming to you from my living room, the jungle corner, with my little tiger there, Leo. Um, recording this during remote learning, so if you hear anyone talking about, like, science in the background, it's my 11-year-old, because my um, six-year-old sat on the porch. Um, yeah, good times. This is life now. <laughs> anyway, um, around town we have... What do we have going on around town? We have the New Jersey Wool Walk. We have the last couple of days. Um, I will be doing a uh, circle weave demonstration as one of Yarnia's um, live YouTube, I guess live Zooms, that will then be uploaded to YouTube. So even if you miss it on Sunday from 2 to 3 p.m., um, you can check it out. Amanda's been posting them on our YouTube channel, and so you can weave along with me and do one of the circle weaves that you may have seen in the store um, and hopefully we can throw in a picture of them there. They're super easy to do. They're super fun to do. It's a great way to use up your scraps. Um, really great way to use up your scraps. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be doing that. And that's going to wrap it up for the New Jersey Wool Walk. But you can shop with us in person or online. Um, and there's some really great deals to be had, uh, so get it in in the last couple of days. And if you're watching this after Sunday, next year, we'll do it next year. Um, it's been a really fun wool walk, I think. Uh, you know, it's great to see people again and um, and and have people coming coming in, and also seeing them online and having people who are far away being able to participate in such a great. Um, a great event and celebrate, you know, your local yarn store, whether it's us or if you're farther afield somewhere else. It's awesome. Again, back with Around Town. Haley's gone. Haley had an appointment, so she joined us. Well, actually, you won't have seen Haley yet. No, yeah, she will. Have seen. They so saw Haley, Haley, and then it's like, poof, she's gone, and she, then she's going to be back again. But <laughs> she's not here right now. Yeah, we're out of order. The magic today. of editing. Thanks exactly. Yes. <laughs> you see everything in a continuous timeline. It's it doesn't actually. happen that way. It doesn't happen. That <laughs> it's way. like movie edit. It's like movie filming, right? Oh, exactly. Sometimes like they film. It sounds movies. like a lot of times they film the last scene on the first day, which seems so crazy. I would have a hard time with that. <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you get in character? I don't know. Actors yeah. are incredible. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I'm, Definitely. Uh, so, I'm happy to act like myself most days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Same here. Same here. It's too much work, Dak. Um. So for around town. Yeah. Okay, this is news if you have little kids. Mm -hmm. Well, and also if you if you have a house and if that you people enjoy come to for Halloween holidays. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Halloween is on in New Jersey. Yay! It is. It is. It was announced uh, in our time recording time yesterday yes. that Halloween is on, and people are encouraged to wear real masks, not real Halloween masks. masks. Yes, that's what he's, that's what the governor said. Like yeah. a plastic mask is not going to help you. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> So actually, you know what? That was what people did when I was a kid. I loved those silly plastic masks. Nobody wears those anymore for the most part. They're, it's all like face paint and Eric everything. Eric wore a mask two years ago. Two years ago. Oh, wow. He was Crusher, the Skylander. And he had a big Crusher mask. Wow. Yeah, he loved it. Was it one of those like over the whole head masks though? Or? No, it uh -huh. was like the old school. Wow. I, I see. I never used to, even when Haley was little. I never used to see those. Like they didn't. I think they didn't make them for a long time. I think. I mean, I got his whole costume on eBay. I think it was like a vintage. It could have been. Costume. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Skylanders was big. It's sort of coming back because now they have the Netflix show. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't even know about that at all. That's... But uh, well, I mean, little boys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But like early two thousands was sort of like mm -hmm. the okay. the Skylanders Spyro mm -hmm. type thing. So, but anyway, you yeah, do. he loves Crusher, or he did. Oh, that was uh, he wanted to name Charlie Crusher. Oh, and he was super disappointed <laughs> that we named him. Like he cried oh. that we didn't name him Marlon Maui Crusher. <laughs> 
He could he could call him Crusher as a safe name, right? <laughs> I know, well, I mean, has I he forgotten now? Probably, I think, right? Probably, like, but two, two years is a long time in, in a six year old's life. Looking back, that would have been a very apt name for my two year old uh-huh, uh-huh. to be named Crusher Turcotte. That's basically <laughs> that's kind of what he is. That's right? what he is. He's a little tornado. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does. He kind of like flings himself around a lot, right? Like He's you know, when we see so him happy on the camera at night and everything. He's so just like active. all over the place, right? Uh, uh, very physical little dude. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so Halloween is on. My kids are super happy. They've been planning their costumes since April, mm-hmm. and they've changed about ten times. Of course, of course. But uh, that's part of the fun. Yeah, to, to go through all the iterations <laughs> of what will I be and. Yeah. yeah, but the governor says, like, wear a mask, um, go trick-or-treating with folks from your own household. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, stay in yeah. your pod. Yeah, <laughs> even if you're, like, the adult, wear your mask when you're trick-or-treating. Um, limit the number of houses you go to, like, don't go to 500 houses. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, oh, and for center. the houses that are that have the candy, right? Like, try to keep them a little bit individual so you don't have kids, like, dipping their hands into the communal mm-hmm. pot. Mm-hmm. Like, make them single mm-hmm. serving things. So, yeah. to limit that exposure from one to the other. Yeah. So, we'll have to work on that. Because I usually do the communal pot because I'm lazy and I get my stuff together the day of. <laughs> I've I've done, uh, one, one of my friends who's put together little bags for all the kids. I don't know, she may do that again this year because, you know, she'd yeah. do a selection like a chocolate thing, a, you know, a, a tart thing and something else. Like, and... But what I'm actually thinking is putting, like, caution tape at the bottom of my steps. And then um, we got a big box of, like, individual snacks, like Lay's potato chips and uh, Cheetos yeah. and things like that. Something like that that I can, like, throw <laughs> like a football. So we'll see. We'll see. There was something else that was going around the Internet for a while. Somebody had a big tube that they decorated, you know, Perfect. with, like, Halloween streamers and, like, sent the things down the tube to the kid. That works. But I assume you'd also still need to do something at the bottom to have them not be coming up the steps. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. But it'll um, be different, but I'm super be glad that it's not shut down. Do you remember that year it's... Was Sandy. It Sandy? Oh, was yeah, it Sandy? Hurricane Sandy. It was because my friend's house burned down. And oh my god! I took her daughter trick or treating. It was so crazy. And it was sort of like, a, is it on? Is it off? Or yeah, you know, like, are we yeah. going to do this? Or we well, not? I think I think they wound up doing it later. I I don't know. It's long enough ago now. That, it was yeah. I mean, it's we like had a big tree come maybe, down or? in our front yard. So every year on Facebook, I'm like, oh yeah, it's that many years ago because yeah. we had a huge like I could not put my arms around a tree mm-hmm. come down in our front yard. Wow. Um, and I have a picture of the kids in their Halloween costumes. Abby was one. Oh, okay. So she's eight now. So it was, so it was seven, seven years, years ago. ago. Yeah, that makes sense for, yeah, because Haley and Zoe were, like, they were in middle school and it was like, are they going to trick or treat or are they exactly. not going to trick or treat? And this poor kid had been through so much. I mean, evacuating because we had no power for, I think, 13 days with Yeah. That. <laughs> and, but, but, you know, even worse than that, my friend had a really bad house fire where the outside of their house looked okay, but the inside was completely gone. Oh my goodness. Literally no, no first floor even. It That's went, nuts. it was crazy. So, um, to try to make things a little more normal, um, for her kids, her daughter came with us and, you know, we went trick or treating and her son went with somebody else and, you know, and she was just busy dealing with the insurance company and everything. <sighs> Oh. I have to say, we've had some, like, crazy Halloween. So now we have COVID Halloween. Do you mm-hmm. remember the swine snow. flu? The swine flu Halloween? No, that we one I We had a swine remember. flu Halloween. Mm-hmm. All my kids got swine flu, like, oh my goodness. two days before Halloween. Oh. And it was not... That was scary. Wow, wow. Uh, we had Sandy. We had the snow Halloween. The sn- yeah, the... What was it? Uh, Snowmageddon? Right? <laughs> Something. Haley was, Haley was in the Nutcracker that year in in uh, oh my gosh. yeah with her dance school and and people they, then were like we should cancel this because that was d- in October that's yeah, dangerous it was, it was so it was icy right below, it like was, so many down trees that was another time we had no power for more than ten days <laughs> <laughs> ah, so anyway that, yeah that uh, that one I particularly remember because. Um, my husband, I usually drove Haley to those rehearsals, and they were like four or five hour rehearsals because it was like every scene that they were in, they tried to get oh, them yeah, kind yeah, of consecutive, yeah, yeah. but they couldn't always. So he happened to take her that day, and I was doing grocery shopping. I'm driving back from Montclair Whole Foods on North Mountain Avenue, and as I'm driving, I see in the rearview mirror behind no. me giant limbs falling in the street, and I'm like, 
I, I easily five or six. I mean, That's crazy. it was so crazy. I'm like, oh my god, I have got to get myself home before a tree falls on my car. And That's crazy. <laughs> ah. and so I did get home, and I call them, and Jean's like, oh yeah, we we know we've been trying to get up this hill for 45 minutes. They because he was yeah. in his little car. And... I think I remember. <laughs> I remember driving in that snowstorm. Yeah, that was not was, fun. It was so crazy. Yeah. So. Anyway, all that memories say, of Halloween. <laughs> this is not maybe the worst Halloween we've had. This is not the worst. Oh, and also it's people, bad, people have been worst. you know acclimating to things being different for more than six yeah. months now. So, um, well, actually, I guess the other Still around memorable. town is to remind people to vote. Yeah, um, totally. Have, I got, you, have you voted already? Well, no, because we have um, daughters in college who are coming home. Uh huh. And you're all going to vote together. And we're doing it, yes, nice. together to make sure that like everybody reads their envelopes and yep. make sure that they follow all the instructions. This is like, do you remember when you used to take those standardized tests? At yes, school? oh, fill the bubble, exactly. And it's, yeah. the instructions at the top were like, put your <laughs> first name in the squares and then bubble the letters under your first yeah, name. And like, yeah. if you did it wrong, you got a zero on that whole section of the test. <laughs> Okay, if you were traumatized by those, yeah. like obviously I was, it's the same thing. They were training us to vote in 2020. Well, <laughs> read we, the directions. We and sat them. down. Finally, you know, our ballots came. I don't know, last Monday, you know, a week ago, and Jean's like, "We've got to do this today," and I'm, I said, "No, we don't. We have <laughs> other things to do. Today. We can, we'll we'll do it tomorrow. We'll do it. We'll do it this week." So finally, Sunday, we were all home at the same time. We were all. You know, no one had plans within the next hour. Yeah. <laughs> so we filled out our ballots together because everyone is supposed to put their ballot in either the mailbox or the um, the, the county place. collection box yeah. themselves. Um, and, uh, yeah, and you can have someone else do it, but you need to fill out the form. You know, whatever. We're all around. We wanted to do it. It was Haley's first time voting um, other than in a primary. Yeah. So she was really excited about that. We all sat down to do it. Jean had filled out his ballot already. Haley filled out her ballot. I sit down, I fill out my, the front side of my ballot, I go to do the question, I filled in the yes and the no bubble on the first question. Oh no! I did! I'm so mad at myself! Your standardized <laughs> test is disqualified! They're it just was! Kidding. It yeah. was! So, so I spent part of Sunday afternoon finding the right form on the, Aww. you know, nj.gov website to, or Essex County, I guess, to request a new ballot, so... It's I had to print out that form. Jean scanned it for me. I emailed it to them yesterday, and I should be getting a second ballot. And boy, am I not going to just automatically fill in all the circles on the second oh, side next time. Hassle. So I'm so mad at myself. But we, uh, yeah, we went, and Jean and Haley dropped theirs in the box. Got a picture of her first voting. Yeah. Different than we thought it would be. But you dropped them in the box it. at the Montclair um, at municipal at municipal at, at town hall. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's what our plan is too. Yeah. yeah just to like not clog up the mail, and then you yeah, know, like, and it literally there. there it is monitored with a camera and they collect every day oh perfect so it's yeah. it's really uh and i've seen so many people in town post on facebook that they voted there yeah. it's it's you know it's like people are kind of making the best of it and, and making it into an event so i think it's good yeah so my my second daughter my oldest is in is away in iowa yeah, she got she's her not... absentee ballot already uh -huh. so she's dealing with that and she obviously has to use the mail she's got a mail it back yeah. um and then, yeah, my second is coming home on the 18th. So mm -hmm. we're going to do it then mm -hmm. and go so just drop it in. Tell, tell her my cautionary tale. Yes. Because then she's not going to have as much time if she messes up. No, we did the primary ballots this way all uh -huh. together. And uh -huh. like, yeah. it was like in being in third grade where it's like, okay, don't go ahead. We're going to read them out loud together. All, yeah. the, all the instructions. I like, know. I like, just, oh, I was so, I was in Miss Lawler's so third grade class myself. again. Oh, man, I'm Anyway. Okay. So, yeah. So that, that's what's going on yeah. around town. Halloween boat. <laughs> that, um, that's enough. That's enough. Hopefully we'll be happy at some point yeah. in November. Um, we will see. <laughs> we will see. I will be happy when January comes. Yeah. And, like, voting is done and holidays are done and baby is here. And, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, you've got a lot. Life between now like, and the yeah. Here. That's a lot. So, All right. so let's talk a little bit about finished objects and we don't have a whole lot but Amanda is wearing one yay yay so yeah so this is the Montagna sweater by Melissa Labar I, I really like it it's so yeah. pretty um, so great. it looks th so if you saw the photo last time of the black crow sweater <laughs> that this yarn used to be mm -hmm. right it had like raglans that went from here down to here and yeah. then straight out sleeves like these huge sleeves oh wow yeah. um 
in this broken rib pattern all over, which made it even heavier. Oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, it was, Beth wore it for two winters, but it just was like, she plays cello, like she couldn't actually oh, play yeah. her instrument yeah. in it because like the sleeves, the sleeves are too flopped big. everywhere. Yeah. Oh, this is perfect. It's almost like, yeah. This yeah. Is, so, and so you just like researched I'm, our Ravelry and found this one. It fits me-ish, but it'll fit her better. Right, mm -hmm. let's look at it from this direction. Um, <laughs> no, it looks great. And yeah. I styled it with a chunky necklace because I like a chunky yeah. sweater with a chunky necklace. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so I'll show you a little bit up close. This is the Cascade Luminosa, which we don't have in the store right now. Um, if, if somebody wants, I was thinking, if somebody wants a sweater quantity, I can order it. It would take about two weeks to get here and you mm -hmm. need to order a whole bag. Do they do they have silver yet? <laughs> I <laughs> don't. The problem, remember? Yeah, I they know. Remember shipping silver, which is like the color you need to work with all the other colors. <clears throat> well, they also have like the warms, right? Like they have oranges and reds and golds. Yeah. yeah. Um, which is what the original sweater was in. This one is in the blue mm -hmm. and green and silver. Mm -hmm. um, but it's three strands held together. Um, but really, like this sweater, I think would look lovely in like the loft. Yes. Right? Yes. <laughs> the the wool yeah, folk left, have, which we're, we're going to talk about. Start really yeah, um, finding some. But, uh, or um, Stargazer brushed, right? Oh, that would be so pretty. It would look nice. Oh, and, and actually, it's Stargazer got like this. Brushed it has still... this little ribbed thing going on here and the, on the sleeves that I really like. It's pretty cool. If people watch this right away, Stargazer brushed will still be on sale it's still at on the sale. time because it's during the wool walk. Yes. So, Juniper Moon is one of our brands that's 20% off. And Stargazer brushed is a little bit extra off because it's on. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it's, you know, it's one of those yarns like we we love it, but um, not as many other people seem to be loving it. So we want to get it into more people's hands. So. Yeah, totally. You're right. No, that I mean, is thirty five percent off. It's, it's uh, thirty five yeah. percent off yeah. until Sunday. Yep. So, and then it'll be back on the shelf as its regular price. Um, mm -hmm. Somebody came in and asked last weekend, like, how often do you have sales? And I'm like, well, pretty much once a year. Twice a year, once at Wool Walk and once on our anniversary, which but, this year, but this year it are the same was sale. Combined. Yeah, because <laughs> the Wool Walk was moved to the same week as our anniversary, yep, basically. Yep. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so that's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> come by Sunday. Mm -hmm. I feel um, like a mattress salesperson. Come, know, come by know, Sunday. Exactly. It's Limited so funny, time. But, so. but you know, and, and also we we do a lot of fun things for the Wool Walk, like our gumballs. Oh, um, totally. When we initially did those, which I don't remember if it was for Wool Walk or a birthday sale, but. Um, People love them, and so it's They're like you fun. spend fifty dollars, you pick out um, a ball of yarn that we have wrapped up, and you pick a prize for now. And then if you spend a hundred, you get a second one, and it's a gumball that you take home and wrap and figure out what your prize is later. For later. So, and people have been very pleased as always. Um, yeah. So our prize vessels have gone down quite a bit, but we still have. I've got more in the back that we're adding. Don't worry. Still we have more prizes. We shall not run out of prizes. We will not run out of prizes. Um, oh, I'll one just... thing I wanted to say about this sweater, real quick, mm -hmm. is this sweater does have a pocket. Or uh, it, in the it pattern, have a pocket. it has mm -hmm. a pocket. Mm -hmm. um, it, like a it usually pocket. falls lower, right? I mean, mine, my belly takes up it's a whole a lot belly. of space, <laughs> right? But it's a little bit like of a tunicky. It's made to go with like leggings or something. Uh -huh. And there's a kangaroo pocket here. Cute. It's really cute. Beth looked at it. She's like, I don't want a pocket. She's, she said, I like this pattern. I would like this pattern if it didn't have a pocket. And I'm like. I'm making it. I can I'm making off the it. Pocket. Exactly. You just told me to not do a complicated part. It's not complicated. It's just but another whole it's just, step, though. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're making Especially it if it's like picked up and knit in place or something, you know. Yeah, you yeah. like. I forget exactly how you do it because I didn't read that part of the pattern. Yeah, but there is a there's a little pocket here. Mm -hmm. If you like that, mm -hmm. I love this sweater though. I might make it again. Um, plus, it was really fast. But mm -hmm. now it's got slim sleeves. Yeah, she I think that would be great in Stargazer brushed. I, yeah, and I we think have so what too. at least twelve colors of that. I would say. Oh so. yeah, everything mm -hmm. bright colors and neutrals. neutrals and yeah, so like basically whatever you mm -hmm. whatever cool. you like. So who knows? You may see this again. Yeah, at Maybe a later so. date. Um, I'll just mention really quickly what I'm wearing um, because it was something I made. You know, since we had the store, it is um, the Love Note sweater, and I did it in Madeline Tosh. Love Note by. Tin can knits. Tin can knits. Um, and this is Tosh DK in Jupiter's Moon Callisto colorway. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, um, and I, I am think it's funny, I've been so focused on so many things here, I haven't really thought about my projects, and I feel like I've been doing a lot of, like, a lot of my things have been store projects lately, too, so I haven't been thinking as much about personal knitting for some reason. 
Though I may, I may actually have to make a sweater for my husband. <laughs> he, he Is did, he starting to hint? He Is did. He, like... he did look. He really <laughs> can't find the sweater that I made for him. Aww. But it was like 20 years ago. Um, it's okay. He's he's such a good guy. He helps so much with things around the store. I mean, he was he was here for yeah. like two hours Friday night. Also, Jeffy's gonna get a, and Jeffy's gonna get a flat hat. <laughs> he opened it. And he's like, oh, that's so cool. This that is like amazing that. yarn, <laughs> which I have literally never heard him say. Yeah, he, so he's fun. not a expressive mm -hmm. person, mm -hmm. and I've never heard him like actually exclaim about any yarn to be carried yeah. in the whole store. But flat, he pulled it out. He's like. Oh, that's so cool. That's, yeah, it's, it's a really nice yarn. So yeah, I, I may, I may, uh, I may let Jean pick out a yarn and then I'll pick a pattern. So we'll see. Um, and then the other, but I am thinking about making this again. I had wanted to make it in knitted with DK, so I'm gonna. Make I think everybody after thinks this. of making this in the fingering with the mohair held uh -huh. double, and it looks so nice. I, I like it in the, in DK, the DK as well. Yeah. yeah, and also I'm, I'm like because I am allergic to alpaca. I feel like I'm a little iffy with. I'm I'm a little stuffy, but I'm, I know I'm I just I can't wear it. I can't, and I'm not allergic. Like it makes me break out in hives. It makes me not be able to breathe through my nose, which just yeah. gets uncomfortable. I'm going to take this off. It's and like having it, an instant cold. Put it back in my car <laughs> as soon as we're done. And ha that's one reason Haley was sitting sitting in the us, middle. But. Um, but yeah, I do want to make this. Uh, I think in knitted with DK, we've got we've got a bunch of fun colors. And Jen originally almost made this in. There's knitted some more with knitted with DK coming. That's in right. October. That's right. Yeah. So, hmm. So anyway, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, and then I'll quickly talk about um, Haley's sweater that you have, would have seen in the intro, and we'll and see. And you're going to see again in in whips. Um, it's a sweater I made for her uh, easily ten years ago, and it's it's the Harry one of the Harry Potter Christmas sweaters, and it's so perfect because her name is Haley, so her initial is H, so it really is exactly like um the sweater from the movies um but and... not as wide because mm -hmm. harry potter sweater in the movie is like really oversized i get right? well but you know the one i made it for her she was oh she that's was right really, she was really tiny so it was it was sort, sort of like the same oh kind of fit. how cute because yeah. i was like it's a, it's a harry potter sweater but it's like cute and cropped it's a little fitted. cropped yeah she she like still it. wears clothes from when she was 10 years old she's like she's she is a little kind of toothpicky kind of thing but she's yeah. a lot taller than she was but she's, you know, literally the sweater she was wearing the end of the day was like a, a kid's six eight, not a sweater, a, a t shirt. I was like, is that, is that a child <laughs> shirt? Like, yeah, it still fits. It still fits. I don't care. Well, there you go. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I so... can't wear the clothes I was wearing last winter. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I think I think that's everything for us, right? I think so. All right. So well, so but we'll not be back by. to talk to you about whips. Yes, with Haley. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to dive into finished objects. I don't have very many. I'm wearing one, but it's one that you've seen before. And it is my Felix sweater. I'm, I'm, go I'm going like this, doing the shoulder, so you can see the eyelets. I really love this sweater. Um, I actually may make another one, which how often do I repeat sweaters? Not very often. Um, I got to figure out what I'm going to do it in. This is Calborn Woolen's Lucky Tweed, which one of our Wool Walk segments was actually like a, a deep dive into Calborn Woolen's and their their yarns because they're just an amazing yarn company. Um, love them. Philly Girls. That's mine. Kind of. I mean, I'm a Jersey girl, but then I went to school in Philly. Anyway. Um, I love Lucky Tweed. It's so wearable and warm and delicious and squishy and buttery. It's fantastic. It's a it's a great uh, merino tweed wool, Irish tweed wool. But check out check out our um, wool walk video that is on the channel, um, and you can hear Kathleen and Amanda talk all about it. It's awesome. Um, I also figured I would show a different finished object, which I've also showed before, which is. I may have showed it before in this room wearing the sweater, but this is one of the embroidery and sage embroidery kits. Um, and we have a restock of them. So there are some really adorable ones. This is one of the black and white city ones, which I love. 
Um, this is hanging out in my living room. Um, and there's one in the store of Katz's Deli. And there's some really, we have some really great other embroidery kits that aren't embroidery and sage as well. So it's worth, it's worth checking out and seeing because uh, embroidery is kind of like one of those like bridge crafts or gateway crafts where it's like, you know, you want to do something a little bit different, but still fibery. It's a good one to do. Um, yeah, finished objects. I'm working on it with the others. Um, so let's move into whips. Whips, I have a couple. I'm still working on the crochet blanket. Um, there's been very little progress made on that. That I feel like, I think I've mentioned this before, this is one of the long-term projects, right? That'll happen probably over the winter when we can't leave our house ever and it's cold and I just wanna snuggle up and do something. So that one aside. So the next one I have is my summer sorrel, which will end up being my late fall winter sorrel. Um, I have made a ton of progress on the body. This is it upside down. I should show it right side up. I should also warn you it's inside out. So this is how much I've done. And I think I want it slightly cropped. So I don't have a ton more to do until I hit the ribbing. And this is what the yoke looks like outside. This is done in Madeline Tosh, Tosh sock. Um, and I think I am going to do three quarter sleeves when there was a chance of me finishing it in summer. I was going to maybe do short sleeves, but who am I kidding? I'm going to do three quarters. So I expect to be on the sleeves for that relatively soon, depending on how much I can get done like today, supervising online learning. I dropped the ball of yarn and because I have my companion here, I don't want him attacking it because he will, because he's a cat. Um, my other work in progress is for the sweater class that we're doing. Max, stop it. Thank you. The other work in progress I have is for the sweater class that we're doing, um, Marie Chen, which is on Sundays. And we may actually do like, what do you guys think? Should we do like another run of Marie Chen? Like maybe right after and it would would people be interested in that um because i know there's limited space because it's on zoom and there's really only so much you can kind of focus on <laughs> zoom i don't want to go too crazy and not be able to give people you know direction um but i don't know throw throw your thoughts in the in the dwelly bot below and 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 let us know is that something that you would be interested in like a, a late fall sweater class that is kind of like a, a second session of Marie Chen. Um, but let me show you how far I've gotten so far. I am not quite as far as some of the others in class, so I've got to catch up. But this is the Rowan felted tweed, which I think will block out, the lace will block out beautifully, really beautifully, right there. So that is almost the exact same color that I'm wearing because I have a color palette. Um, somebody's here to do something and I'm not sure what. Oh, it's the tree guys. So good times. So this is Marie Chen, which is a top down seamless sweater raglan with some nice shaping. Uh, it's by Isabel Kramer. Um, I really like this pattern. It's got stock net back. Uh, it's very well written. She's got a lot of good details. Um, and of course, we're going through in class and talking about all of the different techniques you can use to adjust the fit of the sleeve or adjust the fit of the body or, you know, ad adjust it and make the sweater your own. And these are things that are applicable for many top down sweaters, if not all top down sweaters. Um, depending on, obviously on the, on your shoulder points and, and your measurements and the fit that you want. So, um, it's a really fun knit. Uh, I'm finally got the lace pattern memorized, um, kind of memorized. I still have to check it once in a while, but like usually that happens right before you hit the ribbing. Um, and so this time it happened before I hit the ribbing. I was like, yes. So we have a couple more classes left and then maybe we'll do another run. I don't know. What do you think? So I think that that might be all I have. I don't know if the flow. But we're talking about whips. Uh, I'm going to talk about, <laughs> I have my of today, which I'm sure we already talked about. 
um, <laughs> is the, the the penultimate next to last day of, of the new year. Walk. <laughs> yeah, true. okay. The day I'm you're gonna watching this, this if you Friday. watch it, the day it goes This up. is my wall walk bag. That's what my yeah, project is. Yeah, it's all the pins on. Oh, yeah. This is, um, this is two years ago or mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so this is 2019 wall walk. I have my wall walk pin mm -hmm. and my Yarnia pin. Mm -hmm. and my Germantown and my cricket. My toft. Those are so cute. Yeah, you better swatch. <laughs> um, I don't do as much as I should, but I do when I'm doing color work. Um, anyway, so I made progress. Yay! Um, yeah, on my uh, baby blanket, hooked on sunshine. Now, now the rows are so much longer. Oh. Than... <laughs> Did you wind up adding in stitches to make them the same length? No. I was thinking about it when, when I didn't add in stitches. I just mm -hmm. made it a square, mm -hmm. and it's going to be a square of whatever length this is, and mm -hmm. then I'll just figure out how to fudge the patterns on each side so that they fit. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of like not too fussy patterns, like half double crochets and double crochets, and like mm -hmm. rows, and so you know it's not it's not like it's not all fifteen kind stitch of lace. patterns yeah. or something mm -hmm. like that, yeah. which. Yeah. You know, it would be hard to fit into it. Yeah, yeah there you is, need very specific repeats to get those. To there fit. is one more section that has like little flowery things in mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. um, so I gotta count mm -hmm. before I start that. Mm -hmm. This time I shall count. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many stitches are on each side now. Mm -hmm. I know it's somewhere around 45 mm -hmm. ish, maybe 50. Mm -hmm. Well, when, but by the time you get to that, maybe you can just kind of in nature like sneak in one or two to, to make. <laughs> is one is shorter, right? One is shorter. Yeah, than the yeah, yeah. No, no, no. They're all the same. Uh -huh. I just. They're the wrong length. Okay. <laughs> it's all right. supposed they're all to same, be. But they're not. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be like sixty stitches a side, and mine are like forty-five, mm -hmm. fifty-ish. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But as long as they're the same. Yeah, I did. Side, as long like then like, each side, because now it's a square. You know? Yeah, as long as it's really a square, that's the main thing. Yeah. yeah. But this is Atlanticus. This is my look in it. It looks so look nice. This is Atlanticus by Hooked on Sunshine. Um, and last time I had just finished like the mandala part. Mm -hmm. um, and had started on this squaring of the corners mm -hmm. um, and now I've finished squaring the corners and have started on the outer square borders. This is four rows from being the end of, this is released as a mystery knit along, mm -hmm. crochet along. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, my brain. Uh, yeah, it was released as a just so used crochet to saying along. It along. I, know. I don't know. It's one of those. It's our default. And like we love crochet though. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, it's true. Cal. Okay, this was released as a mystery cow. <laughs> there you go. Uh, That's <laughs> the safest way to do it. It's a mystery cow. So it was released in clues. Um, so it does sort of like help my brain say like, oh, I'm done with section one. I'm done mm -hmm. with section mm -hmm. two. So I'm almost done with section four. Um, like Haley said, it's like, the rows are getting longer now. I'm like, yeah. yeah. Last night I was like, oh, I've just got five more rows and then I'll be done with clue four. I finished row and a half. Um, <laughs> and like an hour, whereas here when I'm doing it, I finish like a row yeah. in 20 yeah. minutes. And mm -hmm. it's like, of course I can do five rows. No, I cannot. Um, so this is like five rows shy of ending clue four. I didn't even bother tying up my ends this time. Last time you see I like, yeah, like mm -hmm. bumbled them. I tried to be pretty last time, and this time it was <laughs> late and I wanted to go to bed. So, mm -hmm. um, it's looking good. Yeah, it's really nice. Yay. Here, I'll show you how like it goes from a, oops, whoa. <laughs> we're, we're, and we're changing our setup. See, now we're three, but now my light's a little bit forward, my camera, we'll work on this. Um, but, yeah, my husband, I gave him a choice on what color the, like, this, these triangles on the side or like mm -hmm. this square, the, circle the to a square should be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I was thinking gray, and he said, no, white. And I think he, he even admitted he was like, um, influenced by the cover of the Pattern, because <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> I sort of said, "This is what it'll look like. This is mm -hmm. what I'm asking you about. What color do you think it should be?" Um, yeah, and so I think he was influenced, and then he said, "It looks Greek, mm -hmm. oh, the blue, does. right, yeah. with the white and the blues, mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. sort of cool." We went to Greece on our honeymoon, yeah. So, nice. yay! Cool. Um, and we just had our ninth anniversary last week. Right. So oh, it was yeah. it was sort of nice to be like, oh, that's Greek. That looks like Mykonos, just like where we were. <laughs> um, cool. But yay! So that's my 
Hooked on Sunshine Progress. I will be done with Clue 4 next time and be into Clue 5 because I've got to keep going. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. trying to get this one done by the well, time the baby's born. Yeah, the um, so, so this is a huge blanket. I'm not doing a huge blanket. I'm going to stop at some point and then put the border on. Um, the ones I saw on Ravelry that did baby blankets, they modified it. They did through like Clue 5. Mm -hmm. Some did through Clue 6 and then did Clue 12, which is the, mm -hmm. oh, wow, the border. Oh, wow, that is a lot. Yeah, yeah, they <laughs> yeah, cut out a lot. It looks like a full-size bed or something, right? Yeah, it's, it's like, like a for... full-size bedspread. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, mm -hmm. But it's so nice that you can modify it. So, oh, totally. you know, yeah, it, And yeah. the way that one's done so modularly, exactly. it's mm -hmm. very easy it's, to... Yeah, you don't have to do the work of, like, picking out the rows. You yeah. can just, like, look at which ones. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, so Clue 4 or 5, maybe if I do one clue every two weeks, that's six more. I'm 30 weeks now, get to 36, uh, that's safe. That sounds reasonable. <laughs> if I did any slower than that, I think we might have a problem. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so that's the plan. Now you know the plan. We'll see if I stick to it. Stay tuned. <laughs> all right. So yeah, yeah, you have a, Well, keep the crochet. Oh, it's, it's super fun. They all look so nice. Yeah. Like, I want to do one in bold, too. I have a picture on my camera roll of, like, the colors I picked out to mm, do one. That's true. Yeah. But that was two years ago. <laughs> well, I mean, me. I've been looking at. Do you want to show your? Sarah. Oh, both of yours are crochet whips. Yeah. 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 All right. That's me. That's, I, that's true. Very crocheted. <laughs> so I started the sleeves on my rainbow sweater. There's not much new info on this. Oh my one. gosh! I'm so happy to see this in real life. It's so fun. Oh Isn't it so happy? It looks I so love much because <clears throat> I feel like you don't get the a full appreciation on. Yeah, the, the on especially on the knit night. Um, screens like when I show it it the you can see the transition a lot more harshly um from the knitted wit to the second yarn what was that um Bruce City was that Bruce oh no, no that was the, the um socks that rock socks that rock and you can definitely see like it the transition like from here to here is the second yarn mm -hmm. um but I don't know, just on the camera it picks up the it, it white and like does. the neutrals yeah more. like this you can actually see the like, it looks more transition-y than just, like, I mean, I can kind of see it in the camera now. Like, it looks like right. a solid line almost here. But, but it's not. It's not. I can show you <laughs> up close. Yeah. Still have to say a little behind the light. Yeah. Still, I'm going to have to photograph it. Yes! <laughs> I can't wait to wear it. I definitely think I'm going to wear this, like, all winter. Because mm -hmm. it's, like, a good... I do, next time I make one from this pattern, the underarm is a little tight. Um, which, like... How do you change that? I would have to undo all of the body. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Because, well, like, you separate it for the sleeves. Further, so how would you... So, like, yeah. I... Like, how would you pattern, change it next time? Next time, the <laughs> pattern says do, like... So when you separate for the sleeves, like, all of the um, yoke is the increases, and then you just kind of cut off... I think it was, like, 55 stitches per sleeve um, from the whole body and then you continue you put them working on holders yeah right, they, they, just, they just sit there mm -hmm. <laughs> and they look like a little tiny crop top and then um oh, that's the back i mean it doesn't really matter no it's the front um i can only tell by the connector on the first right. row mm -hmm. um because it's a different color like it would be harder to tell um but so then you just do chains or across to make the underarm um, oh, right. So you can and chain so more the stitches. pattern said yeah. for the size because with the gauge that I was doing, I think I was doing the medium size, and like since I've been doing the body, I don't really pay attention because it's all the way around. Right. Just you don't really have to look at anything. Um, I think I ended up doing twelve, and it's still a little tight. Mm -hmm. um, I don't. I think I did nine last time, and mm -hmm. I was doing a smaller size, but the yarn changes, you know. Yeah. Um, it's a slightly different. But gauge, right? it is a little tight, but it fits. But I just hope it doesn't cut off my circulation. Well, so um, when you block it, yeah, exactly. you can stretch it out a little bit. Yeah. Like you did re-block yeah. one of them this in, weekend. And in the other ones that I had done, bit. this part of the arm, like the front of the arm where the arm goes to the body, it did get stretched out a little bit, like from wearing it, which is fine. Like it's wear. Um, but I don't know, it's a little bit different. It's always gonna be a little different. I love this. So yeah, I really started pretty. the sleeves, and I think next time I'm going to actually separate the balls that I have left. Like, right now I have two little balls for each sleeve, <laughs> because last time when I started, I had a lot smaller of this one, um, of the knitted wit, 
because mm-hmm. it was right. You had you had it was very much. I, I didn't think I would get like four rows for each sleeve out of it. I got like ten, but mm-hmm. um, it was not fun having <laughs> four strands crisscross. So I'm yeah. gonna separate it so that they can actually be separate this time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a good idea. But yes, this. Yeah. I think if it wasn't, if I wasn't doing school, this would be done a lot sooner, but I'm yes. doing school. Well, you're doing school, yes. and you're if all we could do, I know, I think all about day. it all the time, I'm like, if all I did was crochet, I could do so many things. Right. Absolutely. So this one, I love the top of this, and I've been loving it, like, for weeks. Um, I just placed an order for knitted with, and I ordered yes. more skeins of this, of this love, because I'm like, I need something pulled like that in my life because it's yeah. so yeah. awesome it's and so this fun. one was one of the first games that we got in the store like it was from like the opening of yeah. the store i was like i must have that. Mm-hmm. I, awesome. I think we gave it to you as a thank you for helping us <laughs> <Yeah. our> stock shelves <laughs> i forget how many i got if i got four or eight because they bu- they die in very small batches you're right so yeah. mm-hmm. but the knitted wit order is my favorite one that comes oh in. my goodness so, i love looking at the box yes yeah, we're in yeah, the queue true. For yeah. end of October, so probably oh, come November, being November. Excellent. Stay tuned. Right. Yeah. So um, I have got a sweater as well, okay. um, and this is the one I thought I would have done by this episode, but I forgot how knitting. Uh, this is the equivalent of a super bulky because it's two strands of worsted. Yeah. You know, it's worsted held double. Um, so this is my Clotilde sweater, and the body is done. I did, I did the bind off last, not last night, two nights ago. Um, but it's an all over lace pattern. It's by Knitting for Olive, and I'm doing it in Lucky Tweed in, I think it's called Cream. Actually, they just do color numbers, don't they, on their, uh... No, they do, they do colors on those, on the Lucky Tweed. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm using this held double. Um, so I'm working from the inside and the outside of the ball. Normally, I don't have. Oh, so you do one right ball now. and just like. I, yep, exactly. Because it's not. It is interesting, actually. I hit one point in this where there was a little, a little bit of it that was actually so much more gray, and I, I did work a row with it, and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I mean, it was, it was like 20 stitches the or something. The gray sheep got into but, the combed fibers. Yeah, at that really. Point. It just it was a little bit of <laughs> the flex. Uh, a little bit of too much variation there. I mean, you want a little bit of variation. That's part of the beauty of the yarn. But yeah, you can definitely see the flex more in person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, there's a bit of gray and a bit of like yellowish. A bit of gold. It's yeah, it's all natural stuff. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and actually, one reason I wanted to show this today, I, you know, I, I did make some progress. I got to uh, got to the bind off, um, and actually, this called for a tubular bind off, but oh. I didn't feel like doing that. I agree. <laughs> yeah. I mean, sometimes it's worth it. I it's it's doubled yarn. It's kind of grabby. It's like I started. I did. I don't know. I did like eight stitches and I was like, I wouldn't nah. have done tubular for that. Nah, I'm gonna, no. yeah, it's fine. I mean, I tried it on a couple of times. I put it on, um, I split it between two circulars and I tried it on. So I made sure I was happy with the fit. Um, when I blocked my swatch, it didn't actually grow. I do think the sweater is going to grow a little bit more just because of the weight. Um, but you know, I'm happy with the length as it is now. I'll hold it up. Oh, it's, yeah. it's hip length. Yeah, it's, perfect. you know, it's like kind of high hip when it's on, when it's actually on my shoulder, but if it grows a tiny bit, that's gonna be fine still. Yeah. Um, but the thing I wanted to show is, I've talked about this a couple of times, but I don't think I've ever shown it. Um, when I put my sleeves on hold, I love to use the Leica uh, short cords. This is a cord for a 16 inch Leica needle with three inch tips. Yeah, So Ta-da. it just makes it so easy to, you know, when I'm ready to knit again, I just, just screw on your put, tips it, put a go. tip on here, <laughs> leave the stopper on here on the other side, and work on to my new needle. Oh, you do magic loop on your sleeves. I do. I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh yeah. But <laughs> that's an educated guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much always. I, I I have threatened to do uh, the um, flip sticks one of these days, but uh, or flexi flips rather. The flex- I, flexi I always flips, yeah. I always reverse those two. Um, <laughs> But I think for this, yeah, I'm probably going to stick with Magic Loop. I mean, because that diameter, it looks like at the beginning, you probably 16-inch circulars. I, I still prefer Magic Loop. I'm faster. I'm faster with Magic Loop than a, within a straight circular. Woo! Yeah. That's one of us. I know. <laughs> exactly. I, I'm a weirdo. What can I say? I just... Not it. Yeah, there aren't many people who will say that. But um, it's just so... It's just like such a natural flow to me that I do yeah. it without even thinking about it. So I think so that's mine. Yeah. I yeah. yeah I, I, pull, I, it takes me like a lot of mental effort to pull my cord mm-hmm. through. Yeah. Uh, but like for me, 
knitting around and around on DPNs, it's like no problem. No problem. Yeah, oh, I would never finish the sweater for a <laughs> I could knit the whole thing DPNs. on DPNs. Just line them uh. up twelve of them all the way around. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was I was doing a repair for somebody the other day and it was um it was you know, the, it was a baby sweater and the sleeve was on DPNs. And it was like, oh, I gotta get this off of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so. We all have our ways. We totally. all have our ways. So it's what works for you. That is the important thing. Well, Figure out what works for you. Why we've got all the options. That's right. Yeah. We do. We do. It's exactly. Like biodiversity in knitting <laughs> <laughs> ecosystem. Very nice. Oh my goodness. It's almost time for you to run onto your appointment. So okay, do you we'll, want to talk we'll, about we'll your other? Yeah, we'll, back we'll go back. We'll <laughs> go back and forth. So I don't know if you have heard, but. Oh, we should in... get a picture. <gasps> we'll, we'll get a picture to include. When it's done or like of, of, the, of, of the original? Of the original, okay. yeah. Oh. So, um. You know what this is, Amanda? In, <laughs> <laughs> in I want to say, night 2019, mm -hmm. um, Harry Styles I've was had on a the day of the Wonder Direction. <laughs> Harry Styles <laughs> of One Direction so awesome. fame was on the Today Show and he wore a cardigan by the designer J.W. Anderson. Now, that pretty much broke the internet that day, right? Well, yes, but also it was like a delayed, it was like a slow, mm, like, slow burn reaction. Yeah. <laughs> um, because in quarantine, as no one had anything to do, people on TikTok were like, what do I make? Like, uh, knitters, crocheters, makers were like, hmm, projects they need they to do? do. So they went back now that everyone had time and they all started making. Oh my God. Sweaters and yes, we will, <laughs> the picture of the original will be there. Um, so I on TikTok saw someone made one for their cat. So I was like, I must make one for my dog. What? <laughs> um, because oh, I haven't. It's like awesome. the colors. You, you didn't really like, want to wear, make I it for yourself. I love it. The colors are not me at mm -hmm. all. Mm -hmm. However, I love it and I love the like patchworkiness make, and everything. I love the like make what you see like that's very much like my instagram like all of my saved instagram like potential projects so this is where i am right now for my jw anderson cardigan for anna my dog <laughs> <laughs> and i'm figuring out the construction um as you can see it's very patchworky and holy right now and you just started this what yesterday or two weeks ago so Oops. sorry um I don't know, over the weekend anyway i think yesterday yeah i did all of the um, so I started out, Sunday, my remember, math yeah. was not right. I was like, I could do like 28 squares and then I did 16. Um, <laughs> so, but I, I'm just working, working it out. And so the, um, reason everyone, um, like it became even more popular was because, um, hairstyles or J.W. Anderson saw that people wanted to make it and were like figuring it out from the picture so he asked Harry to send him back the original he wrote up the pattern because he just oh, did it so as nice. and then published it for free so people oh, could nice. so that's so I looked at the schematic like uh -huh. since I'm crocheting I'm just doing like it actually was different textures each square which like of mm -hmm. stitches I've never heard of because it wasn't it um, mm -hmm. but I just looked at the schematic for the like putting the squares together but mm -hmm. This is oh, where I am. That's very nice. It's, it's a dog. All right, and we'll, we'll have to do a link to the pattern too. I didn't, yes. I didn't yeah, yeah. know that. I didn't know that part of yeah. it. I'll put I don't remember you saying that. Pictures and. And hopefully by the next below. by the next episode, yeah, uh, Anna, I'm hoping we'll have a picture of Anna wearing. Yes, it. that's <laughs> awesome. So because you really, you got so quickly, so you got yeah. so far so quickly. Yeah, yes. very cool. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Haley, and thank you, Harry. This, and Anna likes wearing sweaters, right? Yeah, she does. yeah. This is, her, this is her like Halloween costume, I think. I was like, awesome. like thinking, I don't know why this year is the one year I've had so many good Halloween costume ideas for myself. Mm -hmm. and it's not gonna happen, um, sadly. <laughs> but that's my. That's All my right. Product. Very nice. Well, we will say goodbye to you for now, and we'll see you again later. Okay. Bye. Poof. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Poof. <laughs> Poof. We're back. <laughs> Haley's gone on to her other appointment, um, but we're glad she was able to join us. Yeah, to talk definitely. About her projects. She she I'm, missed being here last time. She really did. I miss seeing. Well, I miss Haley, mm -hmm. and I miss seeing her crochet projects. Which <laughs> so awesome and inspiring, and I hope I can be as good a crocheter as her someday. She's she really has fun with it. She definitely does. So, um, so do you want to talk about one of your other whips? Sure. Okay. All my whips are baby whips. Like I said, you're in baby mode. Well, we have nine weeks left mm -hmm. wow. until the due date. Mm -hmm. And 
I've had babies two weeks early and 10 days late. So people are like, what's your due date? I'm like, don't even think about that because mm -hmm. I've never had a baby on my due date. It's <laughs> sometime between Thanksgiving and Christmas. That's what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, so we've got seven weeks till Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe, maybe six. Yeah, I, exactly. I don't, even know when, I don't know when it is this year because sadly, I'm not sure, you know, we're just probably going to do a little family Zoom on Thanksgiving. Yeah, well, yeah. We, um, I don't, yeah. I know my parents aren't coming up. So, because, and they usually come when the, when the baby comes, but mm -hmm. I don't know if that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Which is doubly sad because A, I love seeing my mom. Mm -hmm. And B, she, she's awesome at helping me around the house. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. It's like, I, re I remember when she, Charlie was born oh and she goodness. was here. Yeah, yeah. She was here at Yarnia. Mm -hmm. Because, right, right, yeah, yeah when, she would mm -hmm. come to work yeah. with me, like, you know, three weeks after he was born. I was mm -hmm. working here at the store, but. I had my mom with me all afternoon, so she took care of Charlie, and mm -hmm. it was great. Yeah. Damn you, coronavirus! <laughs> yeah. Anyway, moving on to happy baby things. Um, I have two baby whips. So the first one I'm going to tell you about is the one that's a little bit more done. That one's going to sit in our snoozies. Um, masks over here for a minute while I work on it. This is Sleeping Cedars by Melissa Schatz oh, yes. Schatzwery. Schatzwery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I could be done with this. Um, I. So the way that this is written, um, there's a lot of like cut your yarn and leave it on holders stuff mm -hmm. going on. Mm -hmm. um, so, which is not my favorite thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, so, here, let's see how I can, but I made a lot of progress. Cause last yeah, week, yeah, you're past the last place. time it mm -hmm. was a garter to, or a stockinette to, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and now we've got some oh, arm you holes. Your lace design, your arm holes. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm actually all the way done. And this, this shoulder seam up here oh, is yeah, finished. Oh yeah, you've done the first one. Mm -hmm. Yay. So this is the little, Lock Kathleen's face, or otherwise the okay. camera thinks <laughs> that it should focus on her. And I'll have um, a sip of coffee while you do that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the little cedars design. This is actually a real, it's a charted lace pattern, um, but it's really easy to to do, right? Like it's, it's very it's, geometric. You yeah. can really see that you're on track, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, yeah, so this is, <clears throat> this is not a complicated lace pattern. If you've done any lace before, even if you haven't, um, it's just, it's, yeah, it's yarn probably, overs. It's a, it's a good way togethers. to try it actually, because you, you really, it progresses. It kind of builds yeah. on itself. Each row goes out a little bit. And there's yeah. only like, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think there's like 12 rows mm -hmm. and then you're done. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, every other one of those rows is a plain stock in that row. Right. <laughs> so you're right. a break. Um, right. which, mm -hmm. which I like, um, for beginner lace to have that stockinette row between every lace row because then you get to make sure that all of your yarn overs are closed properly mm -hmm. and in the right place before mm -hmm. we go on the, to the next lace row. they're fully made. Yeah, yeah. All of that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. um, so anyway, this is in uh, Cash Merino Sport. It's so pretty. Um, yeah. Uh, it's mm -hmm. lovely. Feels good. Um, and like I said, this is a baby bag. So like for zero to three months, there's little eyelets down here to run an I-cord drawstring, which I'll make at the end. If you don't like uh, having an I-cord drawstring, you can just have your little eyelets on this side, mm -hmm. keep it solid on this side, and put buttons in across the bottom. That would be bottom. so cute too. That would be adorable. Yeah, yeah. there's a mm -hmm. lot of examples of that modification on Ravelry too. Mm -hmm. um, but, so the way that this works is it says, you know, like, knit it up to the armholes and then put the back on, you know, holder and work the front. Mm -hmm. And then once you get up to the sides here, put the front on a holder while well, you put these stitches on a holder and work this side and then go back and attach yarn and do this side. And then you start the back and go up here and then put these stitches on a holder and do this side and then do that side. And it's oh like, goodness. that's a whole lot of putting on holders. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so as you can see, working on a circular needle, I don't mm -hmm. put it on a holder. I just like leave the stitches. Leave the stitches there, there yeah, and yeah. the way you do a sock too, you know, you just ignore them and right, you just work right. back and forth mm -hmm. in the front. Mm -hmm. 
and that and that is yeah you know, it's it's funny how a lot of times the episodes seem to have themes right so you know way, ways to put things on hold yeah I, I totally agree with you that's one reason I also like the um just leaving my sleeves on those cords a holder is like this flat yeah. you know hard long object that you need to work around so leaving it just on the cord is so much easier. It, it stays flexible. It's not going to ever be in your way. Right. So yeah, I totally... Yeah, this strategy went great. Yeah. Um, Good idea. I actually didn't use any other needle mm -hmm. until I got up here to this side. And then you Kitchener mm -hmm. the front and the back together. Honestly, you've got live stitches on both sides. You could also three needle bind off if you'd like that's, that. That's what I would do because <laughs> I'm lazy. To well, I mean, I I actually like Kitchener better. I know it very uh -huh. well because so, mm -hmm. I do a lot of sock toes. Mm -hmm. um, so I just Kitchener it together. Mm -hmm. Well, and I got, I Kitchenered it nicely for the first half and then I think I got off by mm -hmm. one. But one, Well, also one reason I like three needle bind off and I've done it on some sweater shoulders, even where it's not called for in the pattern, it really adds a lot of stability. Yeah. Which for a zero to three month old you don't need probably, but for an adult it actually can be a nice way to yeah. do a shoulder even if the pattern doesn't call for it. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I thought about it. And then I didn't. Yeah, it, it'll be, it's it's so nice and smooth and continuous. It's it's a good, good well, choice for that one. And so I was studying, because we're doing the um, the live wool walk shows. Mm -hmm. And so I was studying for our live wool walk show on, you know, for the Sunday one. Mm -hmm. When I was doing these Kitcheners. And so I, in my brain, thought, well, of course, you Kitchener the left shoulder, and you Kitchener the right shoulder, and then ta-da, you're done, and you just pick up and do neck stitches. No, because I didn't look at the pattern, and there's... Uh, buttons on mm -hmm. this side. Button band. Yeah, so there's like three buttons that go on this shoulder, which means you have to do something different. Mm -hmm. But I went ahead and Kitchenered the whole thing, <laughs> woven the ends, oh, yep. and I'm cut them, uh. and then realized, yeah, so I did sit there on my couch and debated for a while whether I should, um, like, take it out, leave it in. This can squish over baby's head, right? <laughs> I think it might have been able to squish over, but... I was like, okay, not worth risking it, because then I'm yeah. going to be annoyed yeah. later and, if and it at, And at that point, you're not going to want to be dealing with it, and you've done all the rest of the work. So. Exactly. Yeah. Do so I now. took out my Kitchener. Now I've got these tiny ends over here, mm -hmm. right, that I'd already woven in and cut, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to knit them into the collar, like mm -hmm. into the neck yeah. ribbing when I do that. <sighs> but now I have to do the button bands, and I have been too annoyed to finish that. <laughs> uh, oh, well. But these baby sleeves are going to take like two seconds once I get to them, so this will be a mm -hmm. finished project next yeah. time, and I will have then two baby outfits done. Yay. Yay. I'm also, I'm going to show you one more thing that I have, um, but then my other plan is to do some pants, some little pull-on oh, pants, because yeah. we have lots of summer baby boy things, because mm -hmm. my other two boys were summer babies, um, and I don't have a lot of winter baby things. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't have any winter baby boy things. Mm -hmm. So, but I figure, you know, for the little ones with a, a short sleeve t-shirt with the wool pants and a blanket are going to be plenty. Mm -hmm. That's enough for in the house and it's not like we're going to go outside a lot this yeah. winter for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to make two pairs at least of DK weight pants. I've got some really cute, cute. pictures. Uh, our pictures patterns picked out for those. So that those will be really coming. fun. That sounds great. I'm looking yeah. at scalp for that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To go along with the, the whole um, omelet dress. Omelet dress, exactly. Yeah, yeah. my mm -hmm. omelet dress is phenol garn, so it's in fingering. Mm -hmm. But I think oh, the that's scalp, right, scout. Yeah, for the DK. Yeah, there's, well, it's, they're pretty comparable. It's they're, sort yeah, of they're like, similar. Yeah, they're, mm -hmm. I think maybe I'll do a scalp. Maybe I'll do also a crisp. I don't know. Mm -hmm. We'll see. But mm -hmm. DK weight pants are forthcoming. Cool. You're neat. So um, I will talk about my second whip. And actually, you've seen this one before. Uh, and, and, and I didn't even think about this, but this will show you what I use holders for. Gather, <laughs> gathering my stuff so that when I've got you know sweater fronts that are almost done, they're not flopping all over the place as I work on yeah. the rest of my sweater. So I will undo it so that you can see. Um, so I am so close to being done, though I realized uh, you know, with the fronts of this Devonshire sweater, um, it, it is 10 inches I need to work from the bottom of the armhole. So I'm, I'm done with all the decreases. Like uh, I'll undo this also so you can yeah. see, but there, then there's like a period when you're doing seven sleeves that you just go straight up. Yeah. Yeah. So I did, the you shoulders. know, the, the armhole 
uh, you know, decreases here. And one little trick that I like to do, and I don't know if you can see or not, um, is I like to feed in some crochet cotton across the row where, uh, you know, where I did the first, you know, cast off, say, five for the beginning of the sleeve. And that way it gives you a nice line to measure from for That's a good idea. when you're, you know, when you, to know you're getting to 10 inches. So I'm right at about five inches now. Uh, and because I'm see. always like squishing my ruler over. Well, it, it's just, you know, you want to, you want to <laughs> know, am I there? Am I not there? Yes. So all of my uh, neckline decreases are done. This is a V-neck sweater. So I'm working on, I don't know, like 30 stitches at this point. Mm. And I'm just going to work, you know, the rest of the 10 inches. Um, and that's the end of the those. lace, right? Well, actually, this is the pattern that does that interesting thing where the lace goes over the shoulder. Um, yeah, and I am going to do a three needle bind off with this, I think, um, with the stockinette portion of the body front to back. Um, but the lace actually goes up and around. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. The I, I haven't uh, looked at the pattern in a while. I'm just, since I did do it before. Check your pattern before you put your shoulders together. <laughs> yeah. to. Right. Um, I've, I've made it before, so I know there's nothing that's like terribly confusing or anything in it. But um, I, it's, it's a definitely a different construction in that the lace kind of wraps around. The lace continues from the fronts and wraps around the back. But there is a portion of stock in it that's connected as well for the shoulders. So, so hopefully, yeah, I, I don't know why. I, I thought I, I had... Big plans, but also I have not had very much time to spend knitting. I did a lot of the setup for wool walk, wool getting walk, all of yeah. the. It just it was it was a lot of time. I did um, like no knitting this weekend mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. yeah. I had a I had a whip in my bag, and mm -hmm. the only thing the only thing I did was Kitchener two shoulders together, one of which should not be Kitchener <laughs> together. Yeah, yeah, and even yesterday, I mean, Sasha and I were here together, and. We had a steady stream of people all day, which for a Monday, like, you know, I mean, also it is October, so it's, October. it's, it's busy. We gotta get but, used to it again. <laughs> <laughs> but we, uh, you know, we, we had a good flow of people and, and I'm sure by the time you see this, if you, uh, if you watch it right away when it goes up, we'll still have some things here because we have been bringing things up also kind of day by day as, yeah. as we clear our room, I've been consolidating baskets and things and adding some more stuff. So Yay. lots of good deals here. All right. And my last thing. One more whip. All right. My last one is tiny. Um, my last one is tiny, too. <laughs> <laughs> but probably for a different reason. Um, <laughs> mine is going to stay tiny-ish because it's for a baby. Um, but when... So the we have a new yarn in the store. We do. We a have new, four new yarns Four in the new store. yarns. New brand. A new brand. Yeah. Um, that we're super excited about. And, uh, yeah, so I cast it on. Of course. Um, we have Woolfolk now. Yay! Yay! I'm so um, excited. Yes, yeah, so we have four. We'll, we'll talk about it in a um, new in-store segment, um, probably n next week or week after, whenever I get to recording it, and all that jazz. But we have four. Just briefly, we have what? Luft, mm -hmm. Far, mm -hmm. Flut, mm -hmm. and Snow. Mm -hmm. um, Luft is a bulky weight. Mm -hmm. yep. Far, Far is, is worsted. worsted, flat is decay, mm -hmm. and snow is fingering. Mm -hmm. So that kind of covered covered the range. Yeah. And, uh, it, when when we picked out which ones we were going with, there was a lot of discussion. Jen, Amanda, and oh. um, I were all here with our rep Antonia, um, who reps Wolfolk and a bunch of our other brands, and we went back and forth <laughs> over what you. But I'm really happy with what we oh, got. I'm super happy. Yeah, actually, that was the other reason. I the the same day we were setting up for. Um, we'll walk. I was putting out the whole folk. So it was a lot of rearranging in the store. And it may be rearranged a little bit again because when you've got that much to do in one day, um, I kind of, I made it work. But of course, after I finished at like 11 o'clock, I had an even better idea of how we can do it. Oh, so perfect. Yeah. that'll, uh, well, as we, as we undo, we'll walk, we'll, uh, Let's see. post have, we'll walk, we'll shift a little bit. I have a note over here because I, this is the first time I'm talking about this. So mm -hmm. I kind of like typed the names too much. Um, but last summer when I went on my baby pattern bin shopping thing, mm -hmm. um, I actually saw Wolfolk's, they have two baby collections. They're called mm, wow. Wolfolk Little Bitty Collections, B-I-T-T-E, and it'll be linked mm -hmm. down below, or at least this one is, and you can find the other one. Um, but this was the first one, and I, like, that's when I emailed Antonio, I'm like, 
oh my gosh, Antonio, we have to get Wolf Walk in mm -hmm. the store because I'm having a baby and I need to knit this collection in this wool <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, so this is the Little Bitty Collection by Florence Merlin. Ah, okay. Who, yeah. yeah, I've knit some of her patterns before. Yeah, so she did the first one. Um, her well, she's definitely a specialist in baby patterns. She uh, does the most beautiful classic baby exactly. patterns. Exactly. Really. No, so yeah. this is going to be like coming home outfit. Yeah. Because it's so classic. Mm -hmm. Um, and just like it's perfect. And it's a whole set. It's a cardigan and it's little pants and oh. a bonnet and little booties. Oh my goodness. So. I have a lot to do in the next six weeks, <laughs> but um, but I started is on it yesterday. The sleeve? Is that one of the sleeves? No, it's the it's the it's the pants. I started with the pants. Uh huh. Um, so and these are knit flat. So you, this is cast on one side, mm -hmm. you know, one pant That's leg. That's one of the legs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I'll cast on the other pant leg and go up, and then you join the two and knit it flat, and then mm -hmm. there's a waistband, mm -hmm. right? And then you do the same thing for the front. Um, but yeah, so this is the snow. Um, oh. Yeah, so snow is a marled fingering weight. Um, this is 01 and 02, 01 and 02 color, right? Which is like a very light white and gray marl. Um, and I hand lined my ball yesterday. <laughs> Um, well, I was on a conference Very nice. Call. Yep, yep. Thank See you. that? Yeah. Yes. Um, it was actually lovely. Uh, it, it took me about 30 minutes while I was on the conference call. Put her on my knees and just went poop, 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 poop. Mm -hmm. um, no problem at all. Um, and then I cast this on. Yay! So it's on a, a US two and a half needle. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just like, this is really heirloom quality. Yeah, definitely. Knitting. Definitely. Um, and it's going to be a really cute little set. So stay tuned. You'll see that. Like, this is definitely not going to be everyday wear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pants, my DK weight mm -hmm. pants will be everyday wear. Um, they will also work up a lot faster. Yeah. Um, yeah. And if it poops on them, that's okay. <laughs> this one will be. You're going to change that diaper right once. before he goes into it. <laughs> yes, worn once and then put in a box and mm -hmm. then maybe second time for some photos. Mm -hmm. um, but that's okay. And then that this is something that like grandkids can wear and it'll yeah, just be exactly, like, exactly. That's fun. Yeah, but it's definitely I love it. I Beautiful. love this. And it's so soft. Yeah, let me let me feel it ripped apart. Right. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. Right. That's beautiful. It's really, yeah, really so lovely. Nice. So I'm nice. super happy with this. Right. So yay! So that's cool. my little baby whip that is for a baby. Cool. And my little whip is also Wolfolk. <laughs> yeah. So um, when I was unpacking everything um, or getting it up on the shelf, I had liked the flat originally when we looked at it, but I just really fell in love with it. It's so bouncy. It's yeah. a DK and it's a boucle. I got it. Um, so and actually, this was yeah, boucle is like super in now yeah, yeah and it's funny because i was not i was not a huge fan of it i mean when we decided to get the kanzashi which is noro's boucle i was like yeah sure you know different strokes for different folks i love it i'm dying to make something out of it now and of course you know with with all the wool folk in now the first thing i'm casting on is a as a boucle hat yeah <laughs> what we had a couple um a couple of customers come in during wool walk who really love the boucle and one had the idea of doing your wrap your corner to corner oh, wrap yeah, in yeah. the boucle Ooh, that would be wouldn't really that be cool. nice yeah so, I'm, I'm thinking a cowl i'm thinking like a nice big cowl oh, yeah. i might i might do something that's the perfect like that, size one but... ball too yeah, anyway, yeah. back to your project. <laughs> back to what we're talking about right now. So um, the pattern I'm doing is from the Wolf Oak um, collection for fall 2018, which is probably when this yarn was originally released, and it's the rig hat. So that is, it's, I'll wait for it to focus. Um, it's a slouchy beanie, um, and it takes one skein of this yarn. So uh, I'm working Perfect. with color 27, I believe. Let yeah, me see. all the colors yeah. have numbers on them. Yeah, so. and and yeah, well, given that I used to do like na between naming and color, my my main thing is I've got to assign names to all these colors. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this one I, toffee, I would say, I guess I don't yeah. know. It's it's a or butterscotch actually. It's really kind of I a butterscotchy. So. Yeah. So um, literally, if you go to our website, you've got to click through numbers mm -hmm. because yeah, none yeah. of them have. Names. Mm. 
Yeah, too bad. Too bad oh, but they are them. consistent between lines. Yes. So if you yeah, like, so if you like color one in one line, it's the it's same, the same color, color in, the other in line. all of the lines, which is really cool for like yeah. blending textures and things like right. that, or making things that match. Yeah, there's one sweater I'm considering making with this where the body is done in flat and the ribbing is done in another of their yarns. Same color but different texture, right? which Isn't is such cool? a nice idea. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. And and actually, if you see numbers, they do change their colors. So if you see that there are missing numbers, um, it's because they don't make that color anymore. Right. Or, or possibly they never made it for that yarn is, yeah. is a possibility as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, so we have the full line of each of those four yarns. Everything that's available now. If there were discontinued colors that mm -hmm. were available two mm -hmm. years ago, mm -hmm. we don't have those. That's right. We have the currently <laughs> available. So I'm really Everything, excited to... Including uh, the new fall colors for this year. Yeah. I'm excited to get this done and try it on because it is... It's funny, Haley was saying it before when she picked it up. It's like, it's one row and it's already squishy. I know. And it's like, how can you have one row be squishy? But well, it's the boucle. That's, um... My husband Jeff was helping me unpack boxes because we did we took photos the day we got it because the right, walk was right. starting and mm -hmm. I was going to be super busy that weekend I knew so we came it was actually our anniversary night yeah that's right um, <laughs> and took pictures until eleven thirty at night <laughs> uh, <laughs> well I mean like he asked if we wanted to go to dinner mm -hmm. and I'm like I'm still sort of like squeamish about eating out and it's not like I can BYO anyway. Mm, true, true. So, yeah. so, you know, we did. It's not as exciting with mm -hmm. your glass of seltzer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We went to DePepo, which is I love DePepo. around the corner from us. Um, I recommended that to like five people to yeah. roll walk. <laughs> it was so good. Kind of right through the parking lot. One night I was here, I, I don't remember which night it was, but um, Oh, it was the night that Haley finally found someone else to take her lease for her apartment in Montreal. Are you Yay. serious? So we went to DePepo to celebrate. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Yeah, yeah. Well, we we Bless think her. we think it's cut it fully done. We think we think. But anyway, we decided to celebrate because we needed something to celebrate. So we yeah. had a lovely dinner there, and it was a little chilly. It was like sixty, but they have super heaters. Oh yeah, so, um, and yeah. their tables are spaced really nicely, really far, really apart. far apart, very yeah, far some apart. Some of them are. Yeah. Sort yeah. of closest in town. Yeah. Um, but I, yeah, I, I went by, or I like drove by the other day because mm -hmm. obviously it's right on the other side of our parking lot at the back. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I was like, okay, I could do this. Yeah. It There's was, not that it many really tables. Nice. They're mm -hmm. farthest apart. Yeah. yeah. And I think they're doing indoor and outdoor dining, but I'm not sure because their indoor space is so tiny. I mean, I you mean, could they, have like two people. They could have two tables, basically. They could have one in each of their one little One by areas. the cash register and then one on the. Toward Watch on Booksellers. Yeah. Who they kind of share an entrance with to some degree. Um, but anyway, if you're local and you're looking for a place to do a nice outdoor meal, even though it's chilly, um, De Pepo is on the list. Wear a sweater like had, this. Yeah. You'd be fine. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I, it, because it was chilly, I had a jacket with me and whatever. I took my jacket off. The heater was oh, enough that, wow. that, uh, and it wasn't even right next to good. us. It was there. There were some serious heaters. So that's good. All right. So. Let's that's say wh is whips and some other things. Yeah. <laughs> whips and chatter. Whips and chatter. All right. Okay. So we'll be back with. Let's um, see. What do we do after whips? We say bye. That's right. We do. All right. <laughs> so thanks for joining us. Be sure to like and subscribe that's if you right. enjoyed this podcast. If you didn't, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. um, and also, if you didn't tell us what we can do better, actually. Yeah, there, totally. We, we love to hear your feedback. Um, we have some fans who comment pretty much every episode and say how much they enjoy hearing from us. And we love hearing that. We love we love being able to share you know with you what we're doing. So... Yeah. Um, and if you do like, t tell your friends. We we need to once we'll walk and everything is over. We're gonna really get on it with doing prizes for things. Yeah, we talked about yeah. this before, and then COVID hit, and then we moved the store, and then it was the wall walk. But well, and I I've feel been like, thinking, you know, I've I, you know, we used to do the um, the bag raffle. The bag raffle. Yeah. But everybody is like out of the bag raff bag practice. Well, now. and some I feel like some people are getting back into it, but some people still are like you know they bring something home and they leave it aside for a few exactly. days. Exactly, which, which I which I sometimes do myself, so I totally understand that. So um, yeah, but we, we we will get we will get on with that. Even though fall is you know always a busy time yep. in yarn stores. Oh, there's our Dem like Yakalopa prizes. That's we've right, exactly. That. Yeah, we we've got oh we've still got to do our <laughs> Ursa Minor prizes. Oh, but so we will, we've got a lot to do. We will uh, prizes are forthcoming. Yes, I, we've I've, I've got a list. We'll we'll combine lists because I'm sure Amanda has a list too, and um, and we'll talk to Jen and we will 
we'll, we'll be getting onto those things. But we appreciate you watching. Yes. Um, we love to hear from you. And we will see you again soon. All right? Bye. Bye. It might be all I have. So, Leo and I. Leo. There he is. Isn't he pretty? He's staring out the window. <laughs> Leo and I will see you later and meanwhile I hope you had a great wool walk um, and we'll talk to you soon. All right. Remember to like and subscribe, follow us on Instagram, Ravelry, Facebook, all those fun things and see you later. Bye. Yep, I'll let Jen say. The like and subscribe. Say. Yes. She, always, she always does, so she's so good about that. That would be bumps. Yep, yep.